Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be sharing a little bit of an experiment that I decided to try with my business. I noticed that other yarn dyers would put out these mystery yarn clubs. So they would come up with new colors and uh, the customers could then purchase a club either the they could purchase the yarn colors individually or as a set but the whole idea is that it was going to be a surprise the buyers would not know what they were getting they would find out when it arrived in the mail so I thought that sounded very interesting and I thought I would give it a shot on my online shop so I thought the inspiration for my colors would be art. Artists that I admire, artworks that I admire. And I thought that would be an endless supply of inspiration. So I gave it a glow. My idea was to have four clubs through the year. Each club, so about every three months, I would release uh, a club. I would show the inspiration, the artwork, give an idea of the types of colors that I would be coming up with, but I wanted to keep it a mystery. Or so I thought, that was the initial plan. I thought that, that would work because it seemed to work with other dyers, um, but I soon found that things turned out differently for me. And that's the thing when you are running a business, there's a lot of trial and error. And when you're trying something new, you just have to take a chance and just see what works. So for the first club, the inspiration, the artist um, that I used as my inspiration was Mary Pratt. Mary Pratt is a Canadian artist. She started working in the 60s and continued right into the early 2000s and what I love about her artwork is that she used everyday subject matter very domestic ordinary things for example a carton of eggs or fish that she was gutting in the sink or a bowl of fruit um, a microwave with a casserole in it really common everyday things but the way that she painted them and the detail she did photorealistic work the color she used she really made something that is so ordinary and mundane and elevated it into something extraordinary and beautiful and i just love the way that she looked at domestic life and romanticized it and made it very fantastical and gave it a certain appeal that just 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 made it look so extraordinary so what you can do is you can you can do your research and and look up her work um and i think you'll be quite amazed at the art that she did I've admired her work for years. So for my first club, she was my inspiration. And you're seeing some of the artwork that I based this collection on. So like I said, initially I wanted this to be a series of mystery yarn. I thought that would be something fun for my customers. When I first released it um, on the website, um, all I did was put out the inspiration artwork photos and then just said this is kind of what I'm going to be using for my colors. This will give you an idea of how the yarn may look. Um, the response was lukewarm and so I quickly changed. Um, I then changed things so that you know I showed them what the colors were actually going to be and that seemed to do a lot better so in my case my customers like to see what they're getting for other people it works differently people like the mystery they like the surprise 
And, um, but for me, maybe because this was the first time I was doing that, maybe I didn't develop the trust. It was maybe something, a new concept for my customers. So I did find that they appreciated knowing the colors that they were going to get and the response was a lot better. So for the rest of this video, you're going to see me um, dyeing up the colors uh, and also packaging the, um, the orders that I got. And I hope you find it to be relaxing. I really enjoyed doing this. I'm always looking for inspiration and using another person's art and interpreting it into something new for my, you know, I, I find that very inspiring and really fun to do. And I hope to do more of this. So this was the club one, and I hope in the future to share some of the other club colors that I came up with. So enjoy, and I will talk with you a bit later.
I hope you enjoyed this first collection of new colors that I came up with. Again, I really love the artwork of Mary Pratt and I just found so much inspiration in her artwork. It was really fun to use her artwork as a basis to create these new colors and I look forward to sharing other artists that have inspired me over the years. Um, I'm really excited about the second club that I did and in the near future I will share the dye process and the colors that I came up with for my second yarn club. I'll also tell you who that artist is and a little bit of information about that artist in the next video in this series. So I wanted to thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate the support that I get for my channel. Your wonderful comments, they really do encourage me to keep doing what I'm doing and putting out new videos. And I hope that you get some ideas as well for your own creative endeavors, just by seeing a little bit of what I do. So again, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying this content, then please uh, like, feel free to share my videos, of course, leave comments, subscribe if you wish so that you don't uh, miss any new content. And you can hit that notification bell as well so that when I put out new videos, you will be notified. Thank you again for your support, and until next time, bye.
Bye.